Okay guys, today's video is, well I guess the main theme of it is, our one and only Mr. Anti-Matters. It's going to feature my Tetramorium by Karen Artem, which were obviously made very popular by Anti-Matters. And if you haven't already checked out his colony, you have to go over to his YouTube channel, as his colony is insanely huge. And I'm also going to be showing some products I got from antimatter.com. Check it out, I'll leave all the links in the description. First up, my Tetra are in a Wakushi Saturn XL. As you know, I freaking love the Saturn Outworld nest, and they contain these little ladies no problem. Don't forget, if you want one yourself, use discount code ANTSENGLAND to save yourself 10%. Anyway, the Tetra are growing super fast, and the Outworld is always pretty busy. So finally, I got myself one of the mini hoovers with the Antimatters attachment hose, as maintenance was becoming an all day job, as removing one little bit of roach normally had several workers climbing up the tweezers. It was a nightmare. I think eventually I'll have to copy Antimatters and do what he has done. He has a designated waste outworld, so he puts all the rubbish in that and the workers just go back home when they realise there's nothing in there for them, making separating the ants from the waste much easier. So let's bring out the hoover. Now I was on the phone to Mr PJ Ants when I was planning how I was going to tackle this. And PJ was telling me the advantages and disadvantages he found with using the hoover with ant cleanup. So I already had a barrier tub ready to empty the hoover. But while chatting to PJ I knew that I could solve some of the minor issues to make it more efficient for me. So I decided to barrier the first 6 inches or so of the tube that is attached to the hoover which is probably the obvious thing to do anyway and secondly I decided to very lightly barrier all of the inside of the hoover with PTFE so it would be much easier to tip out the ants and the rubbish that way if my plan worked ants would only be able to cling to the sponge filter inside the hoover and nothing else not gonna lie I was absolutely dreading this here are some before pics showing all the mess I know it looks bad, but with thousands of ants, you have thousands of ants worth of mess. Now them little fluffy mounds would have filled the hoover straight away, so I spooned out the bulk of that beforehand and put it in the barrier tub because it was filled with ants too. Also, this Wakushi platform feeding area had loads of rubbish, but not many ants, so I just cleaned that off first with tweezers. Then I put a couple of roaches up there to hopefully distract the ants from the hoover and have less ants all in the rubbish. Here's a little clip of the ants after I'd taken out the bulk of the fluff and less ants walking around because they were eating on that platform. And here's a quick look at what I was able to grab out so far by hand, well spoon and tweezers. I've put in a tube in hopes that the ants will move in there and I'll be able to put them back in the satin rather than moving a few ants at a time back from the rubbish tub with a paintbrush or whatever. Now it's hoover time. Now the suction didn't seem that strong against my hand, but it did surprisingly well. Now as it was my first time trying it, I just gave it a quick hoover. On that damp sticky cotton fluff rubbish, it did better than I expected. I think the hose being so curved prob held it back a bit, but a top tip from PJ Ants is heat the tube and put a wooden stick in it until it cools down and it should significantly get rid of that curve and I'll definitely be trying that next time. But look at it go on the roach bits, it definitely saves so much time. I didn't film the whole clean up as I was scared I was going to knock my phone in but you get the gist of it and I didn't film emptying it because I was nervous and forgot to record it because as soon as I turned the hoover off I tipped it out straight away because if not, they would have started walking out of the hoover, down the tube and escaping. The hoover was surprisingly easy to empty. I tipped it out and there was only a couple left in there. More in the tube than in the hoover, as that was all barriered. And a couple of taps and they were out. The sponge I just scraped the workers off, no problem. Here's an after picture. Okay, it's not perfect, but for a two minute job, I'm very impressed and I think for a first attempt I did pretty well. Here's the waste tub straight after. 
so a fair few ants got sucked up. But if I was going in with tweezers, grabbing bits one by one, I would have likely have had to have dealt with a lot more ants. And it would definitely would have took so much longer. This is the waste tub 10 hours later, and thankfully a lot moved into the test tube. So I'll either pop that tube into the Saturn, as I have two spare spaces free in that, and put a fresh test tube in the trash tub, as there's still quite a few workers not in the tube walking around or I'll just tap these out into the Saturn Outworld and use the same tube again. Overall I'm very glad I got the Hoover and I may even ask Antimatters if he could possibly print some attachments for the end of the tube. Maybe like a scraper on the end or something to loosen up the more stubborn areas. Now for the Antimatters original products. I only ordered the Hoover and one liquid feeder and Anti being Anti went above and beyond and he sent me two liquid fountain feeders, two of his food bowls, a jelly pot and this tower that holds them all off the ground which if you've watched PJ Ant's videos he lovingly refers to them as Christmas trees. I filled the blue antimatter's fountain with water and the red one with Antantic sugar snaps. I didn't fill it all the way as I'm running low but I have more sugar snaps on the way. Now the tree, despite its size with the, I guess we'll call them branches on, is easy to get into the Wakushi Saturn openings. I then placed in the drink fountains and popped a roach on the food bowl for the third branch. With the fountains they have this middle piece that you can put in the middle and because tetras are pretty small I put it in but with bigger ants like Campanotus for example you wouldn't need to put that middle piece in. I love that they hold so much liquid. I think it's 30 mils, so it means less work for me refilling them. And he even does a 100 mil one, which would have been ideal when I had my big Nico colony. Anyway, a huge thank you to Antimatters and go check out his store, antimatter.com. He is an amazing guy, so go show him some love. I'm going to leave you with some bonus footage of the Tetra. As always, thanks for watching, take care, stay safe. Bye.